Hi, it's Roy from Wayscript, and today I'm going to show you how you can get data sets on e-commerce products. So we're here in the recipe builder, and I'm going to start off by dragging in a new variable. I'm going to set the variable name to product URLs. It's going to be a list of items. The type of item is going to be text. And in order for users to edit the product URLs from the dashboard, I'm going to go to dashboard settings. And under variable values, I'm going to tick the box that says show on dashboard. Now I'm going to drag in a loop. I'm going to set the variable to product URLs to loop over. Keep in mind that the product URLs is a list, so it's going to loop over the list. Now I'm going to add in a diff bot and set it to get data from any shopping or e-commerce product page. The input is going to be the product URLs, and for the outputs, I'm going to select all for now. I'm going to then drag in an Excel module. I'm going to set the mode to write file, and I'm going to give my file a name. I'm going to set the name to product data, and for the write mode, I'm going to let it replace file. And for the variables to write in the Excel file, I'm going to select all the variables I want from the outputs in the diff bot. Now in order to download the Excel file from the dashboard, I'm going to select the box display dashboard settings. And next to the Excel file, I'm going to select show on dashboard. After you do that, you're all done. Your program is completed and it will be waiting for you in your dashboard. From your dashboard, you can input the URLs of the products you want. In this example, I put in Amazon products. Now after you select to run the program, an Excel file will appear and you can simply download it. Now in your Excel file, you will find all the data that you pulled for your e-commerce product or products. For example, you can find the product URLs, the product name, product brand, product price, the SKU number, the description, the image URL, the product availability, and even the JSON data. All right, that's all. Remember that you can always run the program again and change the product URLs from your dashboard as well. This is your program and you made it. Congrats.